Hello and welcome Taurus. This is your June 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Yonak. You're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. There's uh, tons of free readings coming every month, including a full moon reading. And there's also a lot of videos um, on my channel um, about sound healing. And um, so there's tons for you to choose from. Um, what we do here, Taurians, we will look at your overall energy for the month of June 2023 before we then move into your emotional core, see what will happen when it comes to love or maybe there's healing that needs to happen. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as to present themselves to you in the month of um, June 2023. And I will ask the guides to provide me with all of these information, all of this information right now, and then we go through it, right? There we go. Bloody hell. So when it comes to opportunities, uh, I can see that already. While there are opportunities coming your way, and we will get this in sort of the last part of the video reading, you will very likely be very reluctant to do something about it, but I will get to there and to that when we get there. It's just, you know, there's no coincidence. So if a card really highlights itself, but then doesn't quite fall out, it just denotes um, a bit of tension, a bit of um, apprehension on your part when it comes to whether or not you should actually look at opportunities as they come your way. In any case, that's just how this works. Let's start from the beginning. Let's look at the overall energy for the month of June 2023 for the sign of Taurus. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. As I said, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now here, what is important for your overall energy in, in June for you Taurians is to understand that you've got all you need at this point in time and even if you're struggling especially financially because that's what i'm getting this is more about sustainability how do i sustain myself how do how do i continue carrying myself and carrying uh, uh, um, my loved ones right so the point the guides are trying to make here is you got all you need from where I'm sitting, I don't see you all of a sudden, you know, uh, sleeping rough or uh, sitting under a bridge and not uh, and not feeding, not being able to feed yourself. The point the guides are making is not everything and you know uh, stays stays negative. Everything passes. Everything will pass. And so the energy here for Torian is 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 one of of worry, and worry doesn't really do much if that makes sense. And all the guides are saying is you got this, right? You got this. The point then would be in June not to make major, major plans about um, how to allocate money, right? So if you want to go on holiday, right, do it more spontaneous, maybe at a different time. Point here is you got all you need, Aries. You got all you need. And you can say to your guides, well, since I've got all, all, all I need, thank you so much, but give me a bit more of what, I, of, of, of what I already got, right, to make it easier on me. So there's always room for negotiation. The point is, the more you go into panic, the more you think like, oh my God, I can't. The moment you say you can't, that's what you manifest, right? So please, Aries, understand that your guides are saying to you, you've got this, you will get through that month, if that makes sense, right? Um, you don't have to go because that's another angle that I'm getting here. Uh, and remember, this is, a, this is a channel reading. It might not be for all of you. Take it as it resonates. You don't have to go to a bank this month. That's what I'm getting. Uh, um, and ask for more money. Um, you don't have to do stupid deals, cheap deals, just because you're 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 a tad nervous about how to sustain yourself. You got this. Try to relax. You will get through this. Okay, Taurus. That was your overall energy for the month of June 2023. Now we're looking at your emotional core. And in the emotional core, which is about love and healing. Again, seems to be the, the, the theme for you. You got everything you need already. So at this point in time, the, the message is not for you to learn how to meditate, to learn um, how to connect to yourself, but to trust that you can do it innately, if that makes sense, right? So um, that's the whole point. You sit down and you say to yourself, I got five minutes without my bloody phone, without anything to do, just five minutes. Right? Eventually, you will notice that when your your brain <laughs> uh, reaches for 
for thoughts, then you're not really relaxed. The point the guides are making is this is not the months where you have to do yoga just to get karma, right? Do yoga for, for any reason you want, if that, if that is your thing, but you don't have to do it for a reason because everything you need with regards to healing from past trauma, because that's what I'm getting, is already inside you. And also because the, the term here is cultivate and has the number two, should you be in a relationship, it's about making that one better. So what I'm getting for you, right, and don't shoot the messenger, if it's over, it's over, I get that, but the point I'm getting here is, you know, every relationship can be difficult because you trigger one another to learn, we only really learn in intimate relationships. The, the, points the, guys, the point the guys are making here for you, Torians, is look at what works, should you be in a relationship, look at what works here, and then highlight on what works, rather than hitting people over the head with how shit they are and what isn't quite working, right? So, yeah, that's one way to, to express yourself, but doing it lovingly obviously goes, goes a little bit further. So, point here is, when it comes to your emotional core, I do not see you having to make changes. Um, I also don't see you having to sit it out. It's about, let me direct the, the conversation, right? Let me direct the conversation, let me see where we're going, and you can express yourself, but cultivate what you got, understand that what you got might already be quite a lot, right? And then, um, you know, be grateful for having experienced it, and if there, need, if, there, if there need to be some changes, make them, but make them lovingly, okay? Taurus, let's look at your opportunities, and remember, there's two cards here, and one wanted to be shown, wanted to be seen, but then sort of didn't come out. So the point is, when it comes to opportunities, they're not going to be numerous, that's number one. But the reason why this happened, where the card doesn't quite show, is because you are asked to not just continue what you already know, simply because it is like, you know, it's like, oh yeah, comfortable. I know what I'm doing, right? I'm good at what I'm doing. And they're not knocking that, that you're good at what you're doing. The point they're making is, right, it's time to explore, right? Maybe you want to progress in a, in a, in a, in a position um, and you're not going for it because you think, oh, I can't really do this, right? Go for it. And then you figure out how to do it. So the point the guides are making is, it's always this, always this thing. I saw that recently. Um, I watched the, the Shuttlepot show, which is sort of a Star Trek thing where they have all the, the stuff like this. anyway they were they were exchanging stories um swapping stories about how how they got you know their first roles on tv and 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 one guy was say was saying they asked me can you do magic and he was like sure i can and then they were filming the next morning and he hadn't got the notion so he had to find the teacher in the afternoon to teach him something the point here is because they're giving this to me is um you don't have to have all the answers you don't need to know everything but Right? You know what you're good at, you carry yourself right, you might be able, uh, and you will be able, to go for things that you will grow into, rather than needing uh, uh, another you know, diploma to do it, if that makes sense. So this is about self-esteem. And then the, 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 the um, difficult part here is, is the one that was reluctant to fall out, which is communication. So communication is a big topic and a big word. In the sense, or in the case of your opportunities, what they're asking you to do is to allow yourself to be a bit vulnerable, right? If someone says to you, so what made you go for that, for, for that interview, right? Obviously, uh, you would say like, well, I need the bloody jobs, don't I? <laughs> you know? so, but the point they're making is, you can be vulnerable. You can say like, well, I was thinking about changing anyway, if that makes sense, right? And that just feels like I can, I can do it. You know, I'm a bit um, out of my depth here, but I think it's a positive thing. So the point they're making is you have communication here. And what I'm not seeing is for you to be the bull that is, that is your depiction. Don't go in and go like, yeah, I can do that. So don't go into ego, Taurus. Be a bit vulnerable. The people that see this as a weakness, obviously, they're not for you. It is that simple, right? So don't act. Don't make yourself bigger. But understand if you're being asked a question that could be interpreted either way. Let them interpret it any way they wish, right? You just answer the question as it comes to you. So point is, 
is exploration as a topic when it comes to opportunities. Maybe it's time to, to um, diversify, therefore look into what else you could do, or even better, what you can add to what you're already doing, because that's the energy I'm getting is. And, and communication is, right, if you're not 100% there yet, right, that's fine too, right? It's in the communication um, where other parties, they can probably even be of help. Uh, understand that you're willing to, 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 to be outside of your comfort zone for a while to get things done. Torians, thank you so much for watching. You are watching Thomas' Tower Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. Really, really important. And you might just want to leave a comment if you want, because that also helps, helps the channel out. Really, really important. Um, and if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. In any case, Torians, I hope it resonated and I see you all in July. Until then, look after yourself. See you next time. Bye-bye.